Angel, alam mo ba ang 5 cardinal rules for buying and investing in properties also known as the 5 W's that all homeowners and investors must know? Pago yan, Gipa. Sige nga, share mo nga sa amin yan. <clears throat> First, where is the property located? Then, what exactly are you buying? Then, when is the completion date? And then, why are you investing in the first place? Why are there only four? You said five. What's the fifth? Watch. Watch Philippine Realty TV. Ang galing mo. Tama! Trust us, no one knows the real estate industry like Philippine Realty TV. <laughs> I'm John Aguilar, executive producer of Philippine Realty TV. Join me as I go through all the necessary steps that future home builders will inevitably go through. From an empty lot to a full-fledged first home, get to know the who's, what's, and how's of building a home from scratch. This is our house building journey in weekly installments. This is Philippine Realty TV's Project First Home. Initially, I wanted an ocular of all of these lots. Now, it's one thing to go by yourself. It's another to have someone there um, who is knowledgeable also about real estate actually discuss with you the pros and cons of uh, each individual lot. Gabe, for instance, is very knowledgeable in real estate. It is crazy not to do an ocular when you're looking at a lot. There's no substitute for seeing it for yourself um, and feeling that emotional tug. The Manikina lot is a family-owned lot. So, it's been in the family for, um, I think, dalaga pa yung mother ko, they bought that na eh. When they heard that I wanted to build my house, sabi nila, you know, baka pwede natin gawing option yung lot natin sa Manikina kasi sayang, nandun lang yun. So Gabe, this is a family-owned lot. It's 360 square meters. Uh -huh. So, bala ko sana dito, uh, hahatiin siya. So okay. 180. It's an okay place. It's just that, ang ayaw ko dito, medyo marami mga dumadaan na tricycle eh. Plus the fact that there's a creek okay. just at the back. Right. And for me, I don't know. It's uh, it sounds something like... overflow like, or... Oh, yeah. Malaking factor yung noise level yeah. dito. Kasi talagang... We're here at about 9 in the morning. Yeah. And you can really hear eh, na maraming tricycle, maraming motor ang dumadaan. Medyo hindi ganong kalayo yung lamang uh, in terms of traffic. Kasi dadaan ka pa rin kahit pa paano ng Marcos Highway. Uh, Tapos pagdating dito, um, the main road going into Marikina is very ma-traffic rin eh. Yeah. I don't know. For me, in an area like this, if I had the money, make it into apartments and rent it out na lang. That's a good idea actually. Marikina, it's certainly very practical. Marikina is very urbanized, yeah. so I'm, I'm sure walang problema to find a renter. You Plus know. the fact that just at the back, it's a oh. hospital. Okay, oh, and, 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 and the a, whole and you have a shopping complex kainan. here. So, all in all, although it's our lot, mm -hmm. but I don't really see myself staying here. Okay. Kumbaga sa chicks. Okay. Um, kung blind date to, tapos uh, hinetap mo sa akin. Okay. Magiging friends pa rin naman tayo, pero parang hindi na tayo ganun ka-close pagkatapos. Ah, uh, okay. So, alam ko na pina pinatutunguhan niya. Huwag uh -huh. na tayo sa next one. Uh -huh. Sige. Okay. Out of all our options. I think mm -hmm. this one has the best location. Yeah, so far. Uh, the Leola Grand Villas is is great. I really love Leola Grand Villas dahil po it's near Katipunan. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's easy to get to through the back, through, yeah. through Marikina. So anyway, right now we're at Denmark Street. The lot here is about 180 square meters. Okay. What I like about this place is that it's very nice. Cool atmosphere. Um, yeah. Hindi masyadong maingay. Not a lot uh -oh. of cars pass here. Uh -oh. And still accessible to public transport. 
for me, number one really should be um, how it fits with your lifestyle right now. Loyola Grand Villas is very close to where I currently live now, which is La Vista. Um, it's, a, it's a couple of minutes away and it's a very, very nice subdivision. It's ideal. It's actually perfect for me, but the thing is, can I afford it? I don't think you can get, go, go wrong. I mean, uh, this area has been proven throughout the years. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, it has a steeper price tag though. Okay. Um, Much? More or less, nasa mga 3 plus million na toy for a 180 square meter lot. Is it soil or is it rock? That's uh, it's soil. Eh. It's, it's soil. soil. Yeah. If it's soil, I think you have to take it out. Because mm -hmm. it's not the foundation. Uh -huh. But interesting. Like, it will be money well spent. If you have the money to spend. If you have the money to spend. So that's it. If you have the chicks. Okay. Um, she, this, this has everything. Diba? Um, kung kumbaga, kumbaga eh, maganda, mabait, matalino, makinis ang talampakan, at mahal ka. Okay. Problema, vegetarian siya. The final lot that we took a look at was located in town and country. Uh, it's in Antipolo, maybe 15-20 minutes drive from Katipunan um, without traffic. What do you think, Gabe? Ano uh, tingin mo dito sa town and country? It's very pretty. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Want to take a look at the lot? Okay. Okay. Para. The thing with this neighborhood is that it's very nice. Um, you have big lots, you have a big expanse, so many trees, you know, ang ganda niya, big roads. The, the beautiful, very nice, but you really get the feeling now, wow, is it practical? The one that I'm looking at, which is actually the smallest one, is at 719 square meters. So Gabe, I'd like you to meet uh, Miss Lita. She's Hello, Miss Lita. Hi. Oh, oh. I, I, I really like the place. Very nice. How, what's the history of town and country? Well, uh, in 1989, okay. this was developed by Active Realty and Development Corporation. Okay. Although the broker's job is really to sell you something, the advantage with a good broker is that um, you may be looking at something and you think you want it, but when you see it and you realize that you don't, um, the broker might have other properties nearby within the same development or in another development that he or she is selling for. At baka doon mahanap eh. Actually, this is the only subdivision in the east that mm -hmm. underground facilities. Pero Ms. Lita, why are there only eight houses here so far? Parang ang ganda ganit. Parang bakit eight lang? Um, as far as I know, uh, all buyers were investors. Okay, okay. The lot that he's planning to buy right. is property owned by Philippines Bank before, mm -hmm. now it's PPI. Brokers are very important because they help you decide. Um, they help you decide in the sense that you get to see all the possible or the positive attributes of a particular property. But at the end of the day, it's still up to you um, whether or not you see if these points are suited to what you're looking for. So the question now uh, is, as with chicks, can you afford it? Most important question. Well, there's always a bank loan. Pwede kaya mag bank loan sa chicks? Mag-usapan yan tayo na. Eh. Kaya yung collateral na. Mahirap yata tayo. Philippine Realty TV would like to thank 